Even though rugby football was confined at rugby school, many rugby playing countries already had football games that were comparable to rugby. Greetings to all rugby, no rugby, football. Yes, have you ever heard of something like this? Don't worry, it's the same rugby you're used to. In this video, we'll discuss why it's called rugby football. The rugby football. Three lads at rugby school in England published the three rules of the game that had been played at least a hundred years at their school. School in 1845. All current versions of rugby, including rugby league, touch rugby, rugby sevens, wheelchair rugby, and even rugby union, as well as other sports like American and Canadian football, involved from their game. While all types of rugby are popular, we shall focus on rugby unions. It is perhaps the most well known and most major competition. The Rugby World Cup is one of the world's most prestigious athletic events. The FIFA World Cup in football and Olympic games are the only two sporting events that get more views than Rugby World Cup. History. Many historians say rugby evolved from Cornish hurling, a 17th and 18th century sport practiced in Cornwall, England. There were a few rules and no referees in this game, and the first team to get the ball to their goal was the winner. Rugby might just have evolved from a less violent variant of Cornish hurling, complete with guidelines and a referee free, the upper class boys in a school like rugby could play without risking major injury. The Rugby Football Union was founded in 1871, when clubs from all across the country convened in London to create the Rugby Football Union after the lads at rugby school published the rules of their game in 1845. The game flourished until 1895, when significant disagreement over the players' wages led to the establishment of the Northern Rugby Football Union. It competing organization. Both of these two groups battled for the game control, but neither was able to gain complete control. As a consequence, two different versions of the games or codes emerged. One was named Rugby Union and was administered by the Rugby Football Union. Players in this code were not allowed to make money from the game, though Rugby Union players can earn money now. The most significant distinctions between these two codes are in the method play continues after a player has been downed and the number of players on each team, 15 for Rugby Union and 13 for Rugby League. In the 12th century, both codes extended to many nations with France, Australia, England, Ireland, New Zealand, Fuji, Canada, South Africa, Wales, Argentina, Italy, and Scotland having significant Rugby Union teams. Footballers, soccer, and rugby are neatly contrasted, and this old British proverb, ruffian, is a slang term for a rough, aggressive, and perhaps a criminal individual. The irony of a hard and hazardous sport like rugby being played by polite, well-educated gentlemen while the softer and safer sport of football being played rugged, lower-class men with reputation for violence is captured in this phrase. When compared to many footballers nowadays, especially those seen as shouting at referees and aggressively insulting them when a judgment goes against them, rugby players may appear to be quite nice gentlemen. Some could even argue that this old British proverb is still relevant today. How to play the game. Rugby you Union is typically played on a grassy surface about 100 meters long and 70 meters wide. Each side consists of 15 players and the game lasts 80 minutes. To score tries or kicks goal, players use an oval shaped ball that they can kick, run with, or pass to teammates. A player must carry the ball past the opposition's try line and ground it to score a try, which is worth 5 points if the team's top kicker kicks the ball between the goal posts. Over the crossbar he can score 2 two extra points for the conversions. However, scoring a touchdown is not as simple as it appears. When attacking teams, players rush with the ball towards the touchline. They encounter a line of large, powerful defenders who know how to block. To get past these defenders, attacking players can pass the ball back and forth until one of them discovers a space in the barrier and runs through it to score a try. A forward pass is a foul that referees should punish, and the ball can only be passed backwards or sideways. The ball is often passed under all Arm and it should be delivered ahead of the rushing player, so that he may collect it without slowing down. Only a player carrying the ball can be tackled by defenders. They are not allowed to tackle or even block other opponents. Obstructions is a penalty for blocking or tripping. When a player is tackled, he must 
either pass the ball or release it. Any other players from either side, even the one who was just tackled, can subsequently pick up the ball and initiate a fresh assault by passing, kicking, or running with it. A loose ball known as a ruck can also be pushed towards the try line by forming a pack around it. A maul is similar to a ruck, except that it is created around a standing player who has been tackled but not put up to the floor. A fresh attempt must begin when the ball comes out of a ruck or a maul. A player can score a field goal, also known as a drop goal, worth three points by kicking the ball in between the goal line and over the crossbar if indeed the ball is within kicking distance. Penalties for fouls. When a side is given a penalty kick, they can score a three-point goal. The kicker can use a drop kick or a place kick in this situation. Only the most serious fouls, such as obstruction and hazardous play, are penalized with a penalty kick. A scrum can be given a minor infractions like a forward pass or a knock-on. In a scrum, a team's eight forward link arms bend over and push against the opposing team's equivalent group. The ball is then thrown into the scrub by a player from the non offending team, and players attempt to gain possession of it, kicking it back towards their side. It can be picked up when it comes out of the scrum and passed, kicked, or carried forth to start scoring a new attack. The referee who supervises the game with the aid of two additional officials known as touch judges awards the penalties if a player commits a major offense The referee has two points. Caution him with a yellow card and have him sit out for 10 minutes, or send him to the red card and have him sit out for the remainder of the game. A touch judge announces the end of the play when the ball leaves the field of play or goes into the touch. The ball is then tossed in from the touch line and whoever catches it can launch a clean attack unless the ball is taken out of play or a penalty is given. Play continues until someone scores. After a team score, the game is restarted with a drop kick from the center of a halfway line by a player from the non-scoring team. Play continues until the referee indicates the conclusion of the match, with the winning side being those of the most goals. Tournaments The Rugby World Cup is the most significant event in the sport. It takes place every four years and is one of the most important sports even on the planet. William Webb Ellis Cup is given to the victors and it is named after one of the three lads from rugby school mentioned above. Since New Zealand won inaugural World Cup in 1987, the tournament has been won by Australian Australia in 1991 to keep the other team from scoring players tackle members of the opposing squad. Tackling the rugby refers to grasping the other player and preventing them from moving or causing them to fall to the ground. The fundamental role of rugby tackling is that no contact should be made with the neck. Players who are carrying the ball are the only ones who can be tackled. Once a tackle has been performed, the opposing team may fight for possession of the ball. The Rugby Globe Cup is a competition in which rugby union teams from all over the world compete. The Rugby World Cup is held every four years with the next one taking place in France in 2023. Are you a fan of rugby? Who do you think is the best? Are you familiar with these game rules and facts? Tell us all these things and leave a comment in the area below. Thank you for watching.